In this video, we'll be transforming our four Maxwell's equations into these two equations that you see over here. And this is the language of differential forms. Now, first of all, you might ask, what's the use of doing this? What, what is the advantage? What do we get out of this? Why are we uh, converting our four equations into two equations? And the reason that we do is, uh, well, at least one of the reasons, which is common everywhere, is the fact that we physicists would like to have the most, I would say, general form of an equation, and which means that we want to shorten our equations as much as we can and without losing any information of that equation. Right. So this is one way that we can do it by using uh, the language of differential forms and which include this Hodge operator star. So before we start, let me just say this, that I'll be assuming that you are familiar with differential forms, you're familiar with the idea of an exterior derivative, and I'll also be assuming uh, that you are familiar with the commutation relations for differential forms. All right, so let's start from here. So, well, first, Things first, we'll define our electric and magnetic fields components, right? So the electric field components can be written as E1, E2, and E3. While the magnetic field components are written as B1, B2, and B3. Right. With this in mind, we are going to now define what is called, or what we will call, an electromagnetic or electromagnetism to form. Now, we are going to represent this with the letter F and we'll define it such that F is equal to, actually we'll be needing more space, so let's start from here. F is equal to, so, okay, now we'll be defining it in this way, that it is E1 times dx wedge product dt plus E2 dy wedge dt plus E3 dz wedge dt. And then these are the electric fields components and then now the magnetic part is B1 dy wedge dz plus B2 dx wedge dz plus B3 dx wedge dy so this over here is the definition of our electromagnetic two form again it's called a two form because we have a uh, wedge product of two uh, derivatives or differentials right so it's a two form now with this we are also going to define which is a current but is a one form and we'll represent it with J and we know that J has its components as rho and then small j which has j1, j2 and j3 while rho is the temporal component of the current density or current one form in this case. So we can then define our J as rho dt minus j1 times dx minus j2 times dy minus j3 times dz. So this here is our current one form. Okay, now with that in mind, look at the equations that we want. This is the exterior derivative of this two form which should be equal to zero. And this is the Hodge operator on differential operator acting on the Hodge of the two form. And that should be equal to the current density, J. So we'll start with this one, DF is equal to zero. So what we want to do is, we'll take our differential exterior derivative and apply it on F. So what is f? f is this expression over here, 
Now, what we want to do is, we are going to take its exterior derivative. Again, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that, how to take exterior derivatives, and you're familiar with differential forms, the language of differential forms already. So this is df is equal to partial e1 divided by partial. So we have dx dt. So what we don't have is uh, dy and dz, right? So partial with respect to y, dy wedge dx, which we already have, and wedge dt. Plus, what is the another part that would come from e1 itself is partial e1 divided by partial z because we have x and t and we don't have y and z so those are the derivatives with respect to which we'll take these and this would be d z wedge now uh, dy wedge dt so dy wedge dt that's just the first part of the equation this one now we'll take the derivative of the next one right so let's do it plus now we have e2 dy wedge dt. So this would be partial e2 over, so we have dy dt. We don't have dx and dz. So this would be partial x dx wedge dy wedge dt plus partial e2 over. So again, we have dy and dt. We, have, we don't have x and z. So we wrote the x1. Now it's partial z dz wedge we have d y wedge dt. So this is this part is also done now. Now we'll go to the next one, e3. For e3, we see we have dz wedge dt. So we do not have dx and dy. So the derivative for this would be partial e3 over partial x dx wedge dz wedge dt plus partial e3 over we have we don't have y so partial y dy wedge dz wedge dt this is also done now let's move on to the magnetic components starting with b1 so this would be plus partial b1 over so we have y and dz so dy wedge dz we don't have t and x so we'll start with t so partial t dt wedge dy wedge dz and next one would be partial b1 over partial x dx wedge dy wedge dc so that's this component done now let's move into the next term which is b2 dx wedge dz so we have plus partial b2 over so again it's dx wedge dz we do not have dt and dy so partial t dt wedge dx wedge dz plus partial b2 over partial what was the other one this is b2 right so x and z so t and y is not there so partial y dy wedge dx wedge dz right so that's this one is also done now let's move on to the final uh, term of this thing that would be plus partial b3 now and it has dx and dy right so we don't have dt and dz so it will be partial t dt wedge dx wedge dy finally plus partial b3 over partial so x y t and what we don't have is z so this is partial z dz wedge dx wedge dy this over here is the exterior derivative of the electromagnetic to form f this entire thing over here all right now what we're going to do is we're going to collect all the like terms and we're going to keep the commutativity of these uh, differentials in mind so let's collect these terms first of all. So I'm going to start with this one, dy wedge dx wedge dt. This is one of them, right? What is another one that is looks that has dy dx and dt in it? So it is 
dy dx dt it is this one right dy dx dt so we can combine these two together then let's look for this one dz wedge dy wedge dt and you can immediately see that this is this one actually there is a slight error over here uh, let me correct that quickly which is that again remember this is e1 dx wedge dt and when we take its uh, derivative you take it with respect to what's not here so that's y and z so this one is for y which is correct for z it is d partial z dz but then by mistake i wrote over here dy so let's correct that this was initially from this thing as we can see it is dx so this would be dx now let's come back to combining our terms so again this one and this one is the same now for this one dz dx dt we have this one dz dx dt so we have combined two of them now let's move on to the next one which is this one dz dy dt and you can see that there would be uh, dz dy dt is in so let's search dz dy dt it's over here uh, but note that there are more than two terms right actually in fact we'll see that there are three similar terms for every color that i'm underlining so let's check for black what is the third one so this is dy dx dt this is dx dy dt so dx dy and dt is what we're looking for so you can see that you see one over here so let's write that one down as dx dt dx dy it's the black one what about the red one let's look at for the another term for the red one we have two already so dx dz uh, dt so that would be dx dz dt this one right and now for the blue one let's find another third term dx dz dy dt dz dy dt so it is dz dy dt this one all right now finally we have another one and uh, of course then this one is the same as this one dy dz dx and dz and then there is another one dz dx dy all right so now that we have uh, combined all these permutations of these differentials we can now rewrite this exterior derivative of f as so let me write it down as df is equal to so we'd have so now let's combine all of them so first we have dt dx dy so we'll re, we'll permute these uh, accordingly so we'll do it with so let me make this thing this would be dt dx sorry wedge dx wedge dy so we'd be left inside with partial e2 over partial x minus you can see that uh, this minus sign comes from because of your permuting uh, these differentials and so we would have uh, partial e1 over partial y and partial b3 over partial t so that's the first term the black one now let's write down another one which would be uh, for dt wedge dz sorry wedge dx wedge dz what does that give you in this bracket you have a uh, partial e3 with partial x this one partial e3 over partial x plus par uh, actually we'd have a negative sign again because of the permutation partial e2 over partial z plus partial b1 over partial t so these are the two terms we have two more to go so plus now we have uh, dt wedge dy wedge dz so for this we have our components as uh, partial e3 over partial y right so that's the first one partial e3 over partial y then you have minus partial e2 over partial z and then you have plus partial b1 over partial now the final term would be 
dx wedge dy wedge dz so the terms that we have here are partial b1 over partial x plus partial b2 over partial y plus partial b3 over partial z all right so this is uh, the exterior derivative of the two form f uh, written a bit more uh, neatly now we can write it down further neatly let me do that i'll take this entire expression on the next page let's copy here so now look at this equation and look at all the terms if you're familiar with electrodynamics or electricity and magnetism then you would be immediately seeing what these terms are you see that this first uh, two terms when you combine them it is nothing but the cross product of e del cross e and it's the third component as we do not have z over here so it is the third component of that plus we have partial b3 over partial t right so that's this one then you have uh, for this you have dt wedge dx wedge dy now the next one we have partial e3 over partial x minus partial e2 over partial z what is that that is the second component of del cross e and then you have uh, plus partial this should be actually b2 this was b2 when you combine the terms this would be partial b2 so you'd have plus partial b2 over partial t right and this has dt wedge dx wedge dz all right now the third term is this one and again you look at this thing partial e3 over partial y minus partial ez oh sorry e2 over partial z is nothing but the first component of the cross product del cross e the first part the first component of that plus partial b1 over partial t and here we have dt wedge dy wedge dz finally you have this term this one partial b1 over partial x partial b2 over partial y partial b3 over partial z all this sum is what this is just taking the divergence of the magnetic field b across the spatial components so this is just del dot b and then you have dx wedge dy wedge dc wonderful now again remember our maxwell's equations this look at this this is del cross e third component plus partial b third component with respect to time and then this is del dot b and the other components of this thing are in the same manner as this one so here we have del cross e second component plus partial b second component with respect to time so if you remember if you go back to the maxwell's equation which are these over here so we can link this one and this one with that because again so we have a term over there as del cross e right and then plus partial time derivative of b if I bring this to the left hand side it becomes plus and on the right hand side it's equal to zero so all those components will become all those terms will be equal to zero and then del dot b is zero because there are no magnetic monopoles so if I go back to this equation what this means is then all of these terms will become zero so this will be zero this will be zero this will also be zero and this will also be zero which gives us our equation d exterior derivative of this two form is equal to zero so this is the first equation that i promised and we have derived now the second equation that we are looking for is this one hodge operator on differential operated on the hodge operator on f right so for this first uh, and then this is equal to j right this is what we want to derive so for this let's start by taking the hodge operator of f now again i'll assume that you know how that is done from your knowledge on differential forms so this is going to give you remember 
you have to keep in mind what was your f f is still this equation over here so keeping this equation in mind you can take the hodge of f as e1 dy wedge dz minus e2 dx wedge dz plus e3 dx wedge dy plus b1 dt wedge dx minus b2 dt wedge dy and then finally plus b3 dt wedge dz all right so this is the hodge operator on the two form of electric magnetism now i want to take its exterior derivative so let's do that so we want now d hodge f what would that be so we just have to take the exterior derivative in the usual manner of this entire term so we'll start with the first one so it would be we have partial e1 over we have y and z we do not have t and x so it would be partial t dt hodge dy hodge dz and then you have with respect to x so this would be partial e1 over partial x dx hodge dy hodge dt uh, sorry not hodge i meant wedge product right okay so this is the first component of the electric field let's move on to the next one so here we'll have uh, now we have a minus sign remember that so this is minus partial e2 we have x and z so we don't have t and y so this would be partial t dt wedge dx wedge dz and then the next term is partial e2 over partial uh, this time uh, we, would, we, we have x and z we don't have t and y right so t is done y is this dy wedge uh, dx wedge dz all right so this is the second term also done let's move on to the third component of the electric field and this would be plus partial e3 over partial so let's see x y we don't have t and z so dt wedge dx wedge dy plus partial e3 over partial z dz wedge dx wedge dy plus this one so here we have partial b1 over partial so dt and dx is there y and z is not so y dy wedge dt wedge dx the next one is so x and t is there y and z so next is z partial b1 over partial z dz wedge dt wedge dx all right so b1 is also done b2 and b3 is left so let's start with b2 now so this would be uh, minus b2 uh, actually minus partial uh, derivative partial of b2 over so we have t and y we don't have x and z so partial x dx wedge d t wedge dy and then another one is z so again the sign would be minus partial b2 over partial z dz wedge dt wedge dy now finally we have b3 component left so let's write that down partial b3 over so t and z is there x and y is not so partial x dx wedge dt wedge dz and then y right so partial b3 over partial y dy wedge dt wedge dc this over here is the hodge operator f acted upon with an exterior derivative right so now we are going to do exactly what we did before we are going to combine our like terms so first so let's start with this one dt dy dz so this is this let's see more that look like this one so they are this dt dy dz so this is the, this one dt dy dz and then you have this one dz dt dy so these three terms are the same now let's look at this one dx wedge dy wedge dt so if you look at that you have uh, d x y and t 
So x, y, and t, so this one. And then x, y, and t, this one. Now let's look at this. The next one, dt, dx, dz. So t, x, and z. T, x, and z. So you see t, x, and z. So this one. And then t, uh, t, x, and z. So this one. Right. And finally, it is these ones, dy, dx, dz, dz, dx, dy, and dx, d, d, uh, sorry, uh, why is this dt? Let's correct that. Okay, so again, there is uh, a mistake. I, I apologize for making a mistake whenever I'm combining these. Here, we really remember this is minus e2 dx wedge dz. So this should be, uh, uh, sorry, for e1, this is dy wedge dz, right? So this should be dy wedge dz. So let's correct that. And let's get rid of this line. So this would not be this one. Uh, and so let's correct that. So this is dx dy dz. So this should be this one. Right? And the red one, this is dt dx dy dx dt dy. So this is the red one. All right. So now we have all our terms combined in this fashion. Now we'll again do what we did before. We'll uh, combine them in a neat way. Uh, let's do that on the next page. So now we have this thing that the exterior derivative of hodged f is equal to. So first we have dt wedge dx wedge dy and the terms in there would be partial e3 over partial z plus partial b2 over partial x minus partial b1 over partial z so this is the first one next plus now you have uh, dt wedge dx wedge dz and the terms in here would be so there would be minus partial e2 over partial t plus partial b1 over partial z minus partial b3 over partial x right so this these are the two now two more to go so let's write them down we have dt wedge dy wedge dz so the com terms in this would be partial e1 over partial t plus partial b2 over partial z minus partial b3 over partial y and then finally we have plus dx wedge dz y wedge dz the terms in here would be partial e1 over partial x plus partial e2 over partial y plus partial e3 over partial z all right so now we have the exterior derivative operated on the hodged f now we have to take the hodge of this entire thing right so we want this one hodge on d hodged f so again, all you have to do, we have these terms, you just have to apply the Hodge operator on them. And uh, doing that, you will get uh, rid of uh, these three forms. Uh, but before we do that, notice that how we started with two form, right? And then we took its derivative, exterior derivative, if you remember over here, this two form, this two form, dx dt, dy dt, dz dt, dy dz, dx dz, dx dy, was converted into this three form, dt, dx, dy, right? So now what we'll do is, we'll take the hodge of this entire thing, we'll be left with, okay, so the components inside will be written as partial e3, let's write the first term, over partial z plus partial b2 over partial x minus partial b1 over partial z times, so you have to apply hodge on these, dt dx dy so what's not there dz plus partial uh, e2 over 
partial T minus partial B1 over partial Z plus partial B3 over partial X and then DT, DX, DZ so we don't have DY so DY plus D, uh, partial E1 over partial T plus partial B2 over partial Z minus partial B3 over partial Y and we have DT, DY, DZ so we will have now DX finally plus partial E1 over partial X plus partial E2 over partial Y plus partial E3 over partial Z dx dy dz so we do not have t dt so here we have this form of this equation now we know that this thing all of these terms this one is minus j3 this one is minus j2 and this one is just minus j1 while this final term is just rho so this gives me hodged d on hodged f this is equal to minus j3 dz minus j2 dy minus j1 dx plus rho dt but remember we defined our current one form as this thing which was just equal to j which means that we have derived the second equation as well which is hodge d hodged on f is equal to j